Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So as usual, we're going to check the platform. This is the class of tonight, simple present practice. And here you will find the, the question for tonight, okay? And we're going to check the attendance. Let me just check that one. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. <coughs> Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Carlos Alberto. Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. Present. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. <clears throat> José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Good. Very good. So we're going to start the class of tonight. And okay, this is the first one. Okay, uh, tonight, uh, let me just check the chat. Brenda, okay. Okay, so we are going to start remembering a little bit about the simple present tense. Uh, perfect, Jocelyn. I'm going to check into that one right now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, simple present tense. Recordemos cuando utilizamos el presente simple, el simple present tense. ¿Para qué situaciones? When the action starts in the past and finish in the past. Mm, start in the past. Mm. Okay, any other? Daily routine. Obligation. Routines, very good. Routines, habits, right. Facts, that will be. When we talk about routines, habits, hechos. Eh, recordemos otra vez las reglas. To talk about us. Yeah, to talk about us or any other person. Entonces, recordemos las reglas. El presente simple en, en, en la forma afirmativa. ¿Qué reglas teníamos? Do you remember? En algunas palabras se cambian por ti, se les agrega su nombre a su cuerpo. Exacto, se cambian los verbos, los verbos le agrego S o ES. Very good. Eh, Pero a cuál es el cambio, a, cómo sea cuál ponerle. S o S. Para las terceras personas. Terceras personas, very good. 
equal three. Yeah. He, she, it. Uh, very good. And uh, habían unos que cambiaban de otra manera. ¿Cómo cambiaban esos otros? Do you remember? En el caso de study, cambiamos la y por normal y es. Perfecto. Cuando el verbo terminaba en y y antes de la y tenía una una consonante, entonces le vamos a quitar la y y le agregamos es. Cuando el verbo termina en y, pero antes de eso lleva una vocal, solo le agrega s, ¿verdad? ¿Qué otros? ¿Qué otro cambiaba? La verbos terminados s, 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 h, s, h. Se les agrega s. Very good. Los que terminan en s, 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 h, s, h, x y o. ¿Qué le agregamos es? Very nice. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer una práctica del presente simple y luego vamos a continuar con el libro. So, my friends, this is it, okay? So, I'm going to show you and you are going to tell me what I'm going to put here. So, for example, I... Live. 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 Mm -hmm. You... Live. 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 He... Lives. I'm sorry. Lives. Ah, lives. She lives. 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 It lives. 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 We live. 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 You live. Live. And they live. Live. Okay, very good. That's nice. Very easy. Let's do the other one. Okay. I play or plays? Play. 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 You? Play. Play. He? Plays. 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 She? Plays. 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 Good. It? Place. 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 We. Play. 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 You. Play. 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 They. Play. 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 Very good. Nice. That was very easy. Let's do the other one. Okay. We. Uh -huh. Drink. 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 Good, let's check the other one. Oops, it was not like this. Uh, Frank? Studies. 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 Studies, very good. Oops. Uh, this duck? Uh, I'm sorry? Has. 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 Very nice. Many shops. Close. Close or close? Close. 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 Very good. A woman never. Say. 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 Good. The gardener. Cut. 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 Letter B. Ah, letter B. Sí. Sí, era letter B. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so long about that. Storch. Flyers. Flies. 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 No, este era fly porque stores el plural, ellas. Um. Ah. Ah, ok. She. Goes. 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 Very good. Goes. 
My father travels. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. A penguin. Kings. 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 Ah. Letter A. Ken. Letter A. Letter A. A. Esta es Ken, porque recordemos que los oh. modals no le agregamos S ni S. Ese era truco, era trampa. Entonces, ahí es Ken, porque así como would, ya lo vimos cool, dijimos que no llevaba S, ¿verdad? Good. Number 11. The cat, catch or catches? Catches. Catches. Very good, catches. This girl cries. 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 Good. This woman drives. 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 Very good. The boy kisses. 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 Mm -hmm. kisses. Very good. And I brush. I brush. Letter A. Okay, brush. Very good. Very nice. Tuvo bastante bien. Solo un par ahí, verdad? Que no. Eh, posiblemente porque no conocíamos la palabra, pero con los modals hay que tener cuidado. ¿verdad? Los modals son ah, los que no le podemos poner. ¿verdad? No le podemos poner. SOS, los modos no llevan. Can, will, cool, may, any of those. Sigamos. My mother works. Work. Works. Well, good. We write. 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 Right. Right. It. 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 I want. 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 She never plays. 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 They work. 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 He drives. Drives. Monkey make 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 make. make. <laughs> This girl speaks speaks. speaks. My father face face. Let's check. Very good. So pay speaks. Very nice. Nice, my friends. Si se ve que sí, verdad? Okay, this is negative. So for the negative, remember. ¿Cómo se llamamos? ¿Cómo se llamamos las negativas? A ver. Don't, it doesn't. Don't, it doesn't. ¿Y cuándo yo le voy a poner doesn't? Doesn't. Uh, she, he, it. Very good. Entonces sería doesn't para las terceras personas. ¿Y el verbo? No se va a hacer normal. El verbo no cambia. Very good. Entonces, dice, write the verb in the present simple negative. Then check. Okay, my friends, ¿cómo sería eso entonces? El verbo está en paréntesis. Es listen y es negativo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo sería entonces? Doesn't listen. My friend doesn't listen to music. Doesn't listen. Oops. Así, ¿verdad? Yeah. Me falta la O. It's true. Doesn't it? Así. It's done. Ah, it's done. Oh, no. It's done. Plural. Don't listen. Like this. Let's check. Ah, el apóstrofo está malo, no es el símbolo. Pero está bien. Don't listen. That will be it. Very good. Number two, Tom. ¿Cómo sería? Doesn't need. 
does I don't know exactly what is this symbol. Bueno, vamos a poner el mismo porque I don't know exactly which doesn't mean. Okay, doesn't mean. Igual el apóstol. So that is good. Nice, doesn't. Ha, Alice. Doesn't, 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 doesn't read. Very good, doesn't read. That is the answer. Number four, they don't 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 drink. Don't drink. Nice, that is good. Don't drink. My brother doesn't eat. Doesn't, doesn't, eat. Eat. doesn't eat. Very good, perfect. Mary doesn't, doesn't, go. Go. doesn't, go. doesn't go to bed late. Ah, nice, very good. Um, we don't, don't start. start. Don't start school at five past eight. Good. The girl doesn't have. Doesn't, doesn't have. have. Okay. The girl doesn't have breakfast in the kitchen. Nice. My friend. Don't serve. Don't serve. Don't serve. I'm sorry. Okay, my friends doesn't. Doesn't. Ah, doesn't. doesn't. Okay, very good. My friend doesn't serve the internet in the evening. Like that is correct. Nice. She doesn't. doesn't. Okay. She doesn't play volleyball at school. Nice. I I don't get up. Don't, I don't, I don't get up. I don't get up at eight o'clock. Very good. My sister <laughs> doesn't, doesn't study. study. Doesn't study. English in the afternoon. Nice. I I don't, 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 go. don't go to bed very early. Nice. We all we don't don't have don't, 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 have. don't have dinner in the dining room. Very good. You don't, don't sleep. sleep. You don't, don't sleep. Very well. sleep. You don't sleep very well at night. La ultima. My, your cousin. You don't. Don't. Doesn't. 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 Ah. Doesn't do. Sí, verdad. Doesn't do. Porque your cousin es tu sobrino, tu sobrina, pero es él o ella. So it's a third person. Primo? Doesn't do. Primo es, es correcto. Si primo o prima. So es él o ella. So it has to be doesn't. Doesn't do. Very good. Perfect. Ok. Y las preguntas. ¿Cómo se llaman las preguntas? Using the auxiliary do and does. Also the auxiliary do and does. So. Hay un ejemplo de cómo vamos a hacer este. Alan likes apples. Does Alan like apples? En pregunta. Entonces, vamos a hacer la siguiente. I play football. ¿Cómo sería? Do you like play, 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 play tennis? Do you play football? Do you play tennis? Uh, do. No, do you like play tennis? Lo que pasa es que vamos, vaya. No es like. 
el verbo. El, el verbo like era en la primera, que dice Alan likes apples. Pero la segunda era I play food. Do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? Do I play tennis? Ah, play food. Do I play tennis like this? Así va a quedar porque el sujeto es I. Aquí, eh. Aquí el sujeto es I. So that's why it's going to be like that. My dad washes the car. ¿Cómo sería esa? Does my dad, Does my dad wash, wash the car? My dad, okay. Wash the floor. Very good. Does my dad wash the floor? Nice. We drive a bus. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Do, do, do we, we drive, drive a lorry? Drive a lorry. Lower. We drive a lorry. Ok. Lorry es como un, como un barco que se lleva con otros carros, algo así. Sam studies German. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Does Sam study French? Does Sam study? Study. Ok. Very good. Does Sam study French? Y la última dice... It Smith, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? That, that, that it is good. Fruit. Ah, very good. Does it, uh, does it eat fruit? Very good, perfect. Do you have questions? Very easy, very nice. Okay, my friends. Now we're going to continue with the book. Okay, para los servicios de frecuencia también usamos el presente simple. So we always use the simple present tense for the adverbs of frequency. Okay, and it says how to use adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency indicate how often an action takes place. And there are some examples. Always, seldom, rarely, sometimes, hardly ever or never. And there are some examples. Vamos a repetir esta parte para practicar siempre el, um, las palabras, la good pronunciation. Everybody, how to use adverbs of frequency? How to use adverbs of frequency? Adverbs of frequency indicate. Adverbs of frequency indicate. How often an action takes place. How often action takes Always. Always. Seldom. Seldom. Rarely. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Never. 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 Examples. Example. We often change the menu. We often change the menu. We always give away promotional items. We always give away promotional items. They regularly select the new options. They regularly select the new options. Very good, perfect. Entonces, vamos a hacer el ejercicio número 5. Vamos a hacer una oración con cualquiera de estos, ¿verdad? Una con always, una con rarely, una con hardly ever, una con seldom, sometimes, in that. Doy tiempo para que la hagan y pues lo vamos a share with others. No se escuchó bien, tichera. Hay que hacer una oración con always, una con rarely. Ah, ok.
Okay, did we finish? A ver, ¿quién quiere la primera? Share the number one, the always one. Me, teacher. Okay. Always drink coffee in the morning. Good, I always drink coffee in the morning. And rarely, anybody else's? Otra persona can rarely? Uh, me. Okay. Uh, you always try to your job. Ah, pero con rarely. Oh, really? Okay. I really, I really wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, very good. That's nice. Good. Other person with hardly ever? Me. Okay. The cat and dog hardly ever fight. Okay, very good. What about seldom? Somebody wants to share seldom? I did share. Okay. I seldom eat meat. Okay, very good. I seldom eat meat. Sometimes, anybody wants to share sometimes? Hello? Sometimes, my children sometimes go to the stadium. Okay, very good. My children sometimes go to stadium. Good. And the last one, never. My daughter is never early. Okay. That's not good, but anyway, it's good. <laughs> okay, and this is uh, a little activity that it says, look at the graph showing how often three branches of a restaurant do promotional activities during a month. Okay, entonces, la pregunta es, how often these three branches do promotional activities during the month. For example, how often do they change the menu? What you can say, for example, for Usulutan, how often they change the menu? De acuerdo al gráfico. Usultan is the orange one. San Salvador is the blue one. La Paz is yellow. The green one is La Unión. And Usultan is the orange one. So, how often does the branch of Usultan change the menu? Four times. So, uh, four times. Uh, often. Very good. Often is fine. Very often. Very good. And if we analyze the green one, that is going to be La Unión. How often La Unión, how often do, does La Unión change the menu? Okay, maybe for that one is sometimes because it's half. The fijan está como la mitad, but entonces eso podría ser sometimes. Entonces dependiendo de cómo sea el gráfico, se podríamos responder. Okay, let's go to the next one. It says I will be able to read collective schedules showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant and talk about schedules activities at my workplace. Number one, there are some questions here. What the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? Aha, uh -huh, very good. How much time does an employee work in a day in your workplace?
is 10 hours, eight hours, nine hours. How much is it a day in your company? Eight hours. Eight hours. Maybe that is the most common, right? Eight hours or maybe nine hours. That is the most common. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow in your company? Uh -huh. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow in your job, in your work? From me, it's for 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. And everybody in your company have a, a schedule to follow? Okay, let's move on, don't worry. Las conversaciones como si. Normally, uh -huh. it's from six. Okay, very good. Entonces, vamos a repetir primero, luego vamos a ver pronunciation questions, y luego vamos a ver el vocabulary. So, everybody, please repeat. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Hey, Matthew, Hi, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. how's it going? Oh, very good, Ben. Very good. Very good. I'm pleased that everybody is here today. I'm pleased because of the traffic, you know. Because, because of the traffic, traffic. You know? no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shifts? For this coming weekend, for this coming weekend, according to the schedule, according to schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good. Pronunciation questions. Shift. 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 El plural sería shifts. Shift. Okay. Any other question? Probably over there. Uh, what pronunciation, huh? This is this is the correct form. Which relief. one? Relief. Uh, relief. Yeah, relief. Relief. Okay. Any other question? Pronunciation schedules. Schedule. 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 Uh, according, como, como es el plan de... According. According. According, yeah. Teacher, uh, schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Coming, teacher. A teacher, coming. Common. Common. Sí. Yes. Ah, este coming. Uh -huh. Coming. Coming with Com. Tal como tal como se ve allí este no lleva ah. ninguna variación. No. Coming. Ah, ¿Cómo se ve? Okay. Any other? Okay, let's practice then. Uh, okay, as usual, we're going to practice in couples. So, Salvador Bernal and Álvaro Ernesto. 
Muy bien. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Álvaro, le toca. A mí. Ah, yes. ajá. Ok, sorry. Tengo muy mal internet. Ah, ok. Demasiado malo. Ok. Matthew. Very good, Ben. I am. Relief. Creo que se le quedó. Ok. Le va a ayudarle entonces Blanca Ruth. Inicia si quiere, Salvador. Ok. Ok. Eh. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm reliever that everybody is here today because of the traffic. You know. You're right. Look who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend. According, according to this dual, Mark, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the Evening shift. Very well. Perfect. Now Irving, Isai, and uh, Jennifer. Okay. Hey, Matthew. How are you going? Very good, Ben. I believe that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift? for the coming weekend? Uh, well, according to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good, perfect, very nice. Now, Josman and Rolando. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. And I like that every every everybody is here today because of the traffic you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and the late shift for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Jennifer and Karen Jamilet. <laughs> hey, Matthew, no, how's it going? Ah, okay, no problem. That's fine. Entonces, le voy a dar Jocelyn. <laughs> How is it going? Very good, Ben. I believe that everybody is here today because the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to Ms. Carol, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. <laughs> Okay, very good, nice. Now, Karen Sanchez and Gabriela Sanchez. Hi. Very good, Ben. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. Very good. Who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? Uh, 
According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Carlos Arias and Rosa del Carmen. Comienzo yo. Okay. Hey, Matthew. How it is going? Very good, then. I'm glad that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good, very nice. Now, Carlos Domingo and Brenda de Villatoro. Hey, Mario, how is it going? Hello, Carlos Dominguez. Are you here with us? Hello, teacher. Ah, okay. Masi, la parte de Masi le toca. Excuse me, teacher. I don't know listen. El, eh, que se puede leer la conversación. Okay, teacher. Ya le dijo la primera parte se le dijo a uh, la compañera, le toca a Matthew. Ok. Very good, Ben. I really that everybody is here today because of the traffic you have now. You are right, Lux. Who has the hearing and leadership for this coming weekend? According to schedule, according to a schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good. Now, uh, Edwin Antonio and Fatima. Okay, teacher. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I mean, I'm really that everybody is here today because of the traffic you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mar and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Very good. Now, Eurice Torres and Richard. With who? Richard. Va, le va a ayudar Irving. You first, Irving. Okay. Hi. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm really that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. Yeah, you're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening ship. Very good, perfect, nice. Okay, so let's check some vocabulary. Uh, relieved, pronunciation is relieved. Okay, relieved. relieved. Uh, let's see what else. Shifts. Esta se pronuncia la S al final. Shifts. Uh, schedule. Schedule. Creo que lo demás está bien. What is relieved? Anybody knows? Aliviado. Aliviado. Me siento aliviado. So, very good. Uh, everybody. What is everybody? 
todos. Very good. And let's see. What is shift? ¿Se acuerdan que era shift? Turno. El turno. Very good. Nice. What is schedule? Horario. Horario. Very good. And I don't see any other. Do you have any other questions? In the conversation. No questions. Very good. Let's do the exercise three. It says, look at schedule at a restaurant and answer the following questions. Who manages the restaurant? Ah, okay. So the first question, de acuerdo a la, a lo que tenemos abajo. Question number one says, who manages the restaurant? Jennifer what? Rodriguez. Very good. Jennifer Rodriguez is the manager. Who cooks? Kevin. Kevin. Karen Dolly. Very good. Mateo. Very good. So there are three people. Kevin, Julie, Matteo, Lowe's, and Linda Harris. Very good, perfect. No other questions here. Four people here. Yeah. Ah, and Karen. Karen, Julie. Kevin and Karen, yeah. It looks like the same, but it's not the same. It's Kevin and Karen. Good. Perfect. So let's move on. Hey, luego dice, read the schedule again and answer the questions below. Eso es de acuerdo al, al horario que vimos arriba. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? So, who is in charge of the waiting tables in the morning shift? In the morning. Jorge and I'm sorry? Jorge and Ivana. I just don't get it. The question is, who is in charge of waiting tables mm -hmm. in the morning shift? Walter. And Walter Omo. Very good. Walter Omo and Matthew Chul. Good. Question number two, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Esta fase porque ya la vimos. Uh -huh. Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Very good. <laughs> number three, who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? The kitchen in the morning shift. Kevin Dooley. Kevin Dooley, Karen Dooley. Kevin, Kevin Dooley and Karen Dooley. Very good. Number four, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Jorge Navani. Jorge Navani. Carlos Guardian. Carlos Guardian. Very good. Y la última, what does Matthew do? What does Matthew do? Waiter. He's a waiter. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Very nice. Very good. Um, todavía no vamos a hacer ese. Okay, we're going to check the attendance, my friends. And then we are going to continue. Let me just go there. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet 
Bonilla de Villatoro. Present teacher y con el compañero Álvaro, él escribió en el chat que tiene problemas de internet, por eso quizás no está ahorita. Ah, ok. Eh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Aquí está, pero con graves problemas. Ah, ok. Ok, Edward. Nice. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Here. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. Present. Ok. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Good. Karen Sánchez Castro. Here, teacher. Good. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect. Ok, my friends, como estamos haciendo una práctica del presente simple, esto es lo que vamos a hacer ahora para practicar. Vamos a escribir un párrafo. En el párrafo vamos a hablar de la rutina que tenemos los fines de semana. Pero lo vamos a hacer en tercera persona. O sea que en lugar de decir, eh, yo voy a jugar fútbol, yo voy a correr, y yo cocino. Y yo, yo voy a decir, Eric, Eric cocina. Eric, entonces va a ser en inglés, ¿verdad? Eric cooks. Eric reads a book. Uh, always, Eric always goes to the park. Algo por el estilo. Entonces, nuestra rutina eh, de los fines de semana, lo que hacemos los fines de semana, pero en tercera persona. En vez de decir yo, vamos a decir esa persona, Eric, ¿verdad? O sea, yo mismo, pero en tercera persona. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfecto. Le voy a dar unos minutos entonces para que podamos luego compartir. Vamos a compartir luego eh, lo que hacemos, pero en tercera persona. Si tienen preguntas o dudas, me dicen y con gusto. Mi, mi duda es en la rutina de todo el día o de ciertas horas. Disculpe que no, no, no entiendo. Como usted lo quiera hacer. O sea, puede ser todo el día, puede ser, dependiendo de qué tantas actividades hace. ¿verdad? Si hace muchas actividades, puede meter solo algunas. ¿verdad? Si hace pocas, pues todas las son mejor. ¿verdad? Okay. Se puede incluir desde arriba, donde decimos um, Carlos gets up at 7 a.m. Carlos cooks breakfast at cosas por el estilo también se puede. O usar adverse of frequency. Carlos always take a shower at noon, por ejemplo. Whatever you want to do.
Okay, did you finish? So, ¿Dónde está un poco más de tiempo? A little more, more time. Okay, definitely. Only five, teacher. Uh, only five, you say? Yes, only five. Okay. Vamos a esperar a todas compañeras, entonces. You need teacher. I'm sorry? You finish already. Finish the chair. Hello, can you hear me? Álvaro, vamos a iniciar con Álvaro entonces. Everybody, let's pay attention. Ok, vamos a ver si me quedaron bien. Of course. Number one. Is you all. You always. English, English all Saturday. Okay. Number two, they hardly ever to work on weekends. To work on weekends. Number three, 
you sometimes to play number four in the house for me. Six, a shower in the morning. Okay, very good. Thank you. Only now. that teacher. Perfect, thank you. So now we're going to listen to Karin Jamilet Rivas. Okay. Uh, my family usually go out every 15 days. My house band always goes to the gym with me. My kids always play video games at home. And my son really goes out without me. I don't know if that's good. That is fine. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. And now, Josh Manserrano. Okay. Javier always Saturday going to the work. Rarely read this day. And Sunday occasionally work to the morning. And the afternoon happenings in your house. And diner eat pupusas always green coffee with your family every Sunday. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you, Jasmine. Now, Jennifer Torres. Okay. On the weekend, Jennifer gets up at the 9 a.m. Always eats tamales in the breakfast. She watches TV with your family. Jennifer sometimes cooks the lunch because she goes eats with your mother. At night, she listens music and relaxing. Okay, very good, perfect, nice, interesting. And now we're going to listen to Blanca Ruth Orantes. Okay, teacher. Monica is my daughter. She's always get up at 7 a.m. on Sunday and makes breakfast for her daughter. The whole family, they go to church and live at 1 p.m. Sometimes they have lunch in a restaurant. Almost always they do the week's shopping and the supermarket. Uh, in return to you, your home, they, they rest in the afternoon. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now we're going to listen to, check, Salvador Bernal. Peter sometimes had breakfast at 8 o'clock. Peter goes to the office at 9 a.m. Peter reads some books for evening. Uh, Peter comes back to home at 5 o'clock. Peter play with your song after the dinner. Finally, Peter goes to bed at 10 p.m. Okay, very good, very nice, thank you. Irving is ahí. Yes, uh, the most of weekend he wake up, he wakes up at a to 30 a.m. Later, he takes a shower and after that, he gets dressed. After a while, he has breakfast and later he brushes his teeth. Almost always, he watches TV for an, for an hour and to the 30 past 11, he buys tortillas. Later, later he has lunch. Sometimes he goes to the field to play soccer and always in the afternoon he goes to the church and at night he comes back to the house and has dinner and finally checks his social media. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Eulice Torres. Uh, 
Okay, Eulise get up late on the weekends. Moreover, Eulise always checks his phone. Then Eulise cleans his room. After Eulise takes a shower, and also Eulise gets dressed. La later, Eulise waters the plants. Also, Eulise washes the dishes. Moreover, Eulise uh, sweeps the floor and also mops the floor. And after that, Eulise always goes to the supermarket. And that's it. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Rolando Antonio. Okay. Okay. Rolando always get up late because he is his free, his free day. Sometimes he cooks a breakfast and always he does laundry and washes his car. In the afternoon, he does his homework from university. And finally at night, he goes out with his, with his friends for a beer or a drink. And sometimes he watches TV series or movies at home. Very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Amaya. Jocelyn uh, wake up at 5 a.m. She, uh, she takes the bus. Uh, perdón, voy a empezar. Okay. Jocelyn wake up at 5 a.m. Uh, she takes the bus at seven in the morning. She arrive, arrives at work at eight in the morning. She has a breakfast at, at night in the morning. She comes home at one in the afternoon. She has a lunch at 2 p.m. Um, she falls asleep um, night at night. On Sunday, Jocelyn wake up, wake up at seven in the morning. She goes, she goes to chore at eight in the morning. She has a lunch with her family at noon. And this afternoon she watches movies and she falls asleep at 10 at night. Very, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Karen Sanchez. Okay. Karen uh, works in the study on Saturday morning. At noon, she returns home. She has lunch with her family. In the afternoon, she cleans house. After play with your baby and husband. Sometimes they go to the bar with your family. On Sunday, Karen and her family always get up early. Eat the breakfast at home. After go to the shore. And have lunch away from home. Sometimes they go to the park or shopping with his family. And in the afternoon, they try to rest and play with his baby. And they move always on Sunday in the uh, it and they try to go to bed early. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you, Dan. Now, Carlos Arias. Because we can the time. Because we can always get up at 8 p.m. at breakfast at 8.30 and in take a shower 
the trade to within this one parent at launch within goes to the part and three thirty play play with his friend the friend come at five pm you know with his parent at seven pm show again at eight pm and sleep at nine pm only that Okay, very good, perfect, Carlos. Now, Rosa del Carmen. Hello, Rose. Okay, not possible. Carlos Dominguez. Okay, teacher. Carlos washes his car on Saturday morning, then cleans the garden and the garage. Then he goes shopping in the morning. In the afternoon, he watches his favorite movie with his family. At night, he dines pupusas with his family. On Sundays, the family attend church. Then he he ends. Then he ends his day at his parent's house. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, uh, Brenda de Villatoro. She gets out early on the weekend to go to work. And when she Livy's work, she drives home to rest. And on Sunday mornings, she goes to work again. And in the afternoon, she goes to church. Very good, perfect. Now, Edwin Antonio. Yes, teacher. Edwin on weekends wakes up late. He gets up at 8 or 9 a.m. and he has breakfast with family. After he brushes his teeth and takes a shower to live with friends, sometimes he goes to the park to walk or a movie theater to watch a movie. He doesn't like to go alone. In the afternoon, he always stays at home with family. He likes to spend time with them and tries to do a lot of activities. Very good, perfect, thank you. And uh, the last one, Fatima Noemi. She always is listening. Um, she usually has lunch at 1 p.m. She watch TV. Uh, she takes a shower and continues to sleep. Very good, perfect. So it was very good, my friends. Bastante bien, un par de detalles nada más. Siempre recordemos a los verbos poner la S porque a veces lo que hacemos es que se nos olvida escribirlo o a veces lo escribimos y se nos olvida decirlo. Entonces, si hubo un par de personas que no dijeron la S, lo S en los verbos, eh, a veces, como les digo, es cuestión de pronunciación nada más. Y lo otro es o tenemos phrasal verbs. Cuando tenemos un phrasal verb, el verbo, que, el verbo es el que va a llevar la S. Por ejemplo, get up. Si lo ocupo en tercera persona sería gets up. Up no lleva la S, sino que es la primera palabra que es el verbo. Gets up. 
¿ok? Uh, y también hay que tener cuidado con los, con los posesivos. Este es el caso. Imagínense que yo estoy hablando con Salvador Bernal. Yo lo estoy hablando de, de Rolando. Entonces yo le vengo y le digo, Rolando wakes up at 7 a.m. He has dinner with your family. Ahí ya no pega. ¿verdad? Si yo le estoy diciendo a Salvador Bernal que Rolando has dinner with your family, lo que le estoy diciendo a Salvador es, fíjate Rolando que Salva, eh, Rolando cena con tu familia. Le estoy diciendo a Salvador con tu familia, ¿verdad? No es así. Él cena con su familia, la de él. Tendría que ser, he has dinner with his family. O with her, si es de ella, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo ocupo solo your, con la persona que estoy hablando, a esa le estoy diciendo con la tuya, fíjate. Él se va a la iglesia con tu mamá, con tu esposa. Y como, como que me puede decir Salvador, y con mi familia y que la conoce, pues, ¿sabes? ¿y qué onda? Yo no, no sabía que se conocían. Pero ese es el, el uso de las palabras, ¿verdad? Es bien importante eso. Entonces, cuando hablamos de una persona que es tercera persona y estamos diciendo que hacen algo con un posesivo, eh, si estamos hablando de un masculino, va a ser his. He takes dinner with his family. He goes to church with his husband or her uh, Husband, it would be in that case. Her, his. Ok, there, si es plural. There. Entonces, esos posesivos hay que tener cuidado como los utilizamos para que se entienda bien lo que estamos diciendo. Porque si no, se puede malentender otra cosa. Eso es lo único. De ahí lo demás estuvo very good. Las actividades, very nice. Las rutinas, very good. Eh, very nice. Very good. Perfect. Do you have any questions before we continue? No questions. Okay, so let's continue. Sí. Uh -huh. Este, sí, quizás yo por allí, teacher, le voy a ser bien, bien honesto, teacher. Allí sí, como que sí me he quedado un poquito, no sé, esta clase porque no la recibí, no la he podido recibir muy bien. No, pues, he podido escucharle muy bien. Pero como que no he entendido ahí con lo que es la tercera persona este en, en este en afirmativo allí me he quedado un poco corto eh, no sé si se usan siempre los bueno se usa siempre todo lo que son los pronombres va yo we they she he todo eso y ya el verbo pues este va en tercera persona en, en las en las oraciones lo que pasa es que la tercera persona se refiere a esto. Vamos a aclarar que ese es lo primero. La primera persona es la que habla. Yo o nosotros. Yo en singular, nosotros en plural. La segunda persona es con quien hablo. Contigo, con ustedes. La tercera persona puede ser singular o plural. Es de quien hablo. Él, ella, eso. Ese es el singular. He, she, it. Esa es la tercera persona. Entonces, cuando los, en el presente simple, cuando nosotros hablamos de una tercera persona en singular, no en plural, en singular, tenemos que conjugar el verbo. ¿Cómo lo conjugamos? Agregando la S o la S a los verbos. Solo en presente simple. Agregamos S o S a los verbos en tercera persona. No necesariamente tiene que llevar el pronombre. O sea, yo puedo decir... Uh, he goes to the park. Ahí cabal, ¿verdad? He goes to the park. Pero en lugar de he, puedo usar el nombre. Carlos goes to the park. Y siempre es él. Mm. Siempre estoy hablando de un él. O puedo decir, uh, el, the man that walks every time in the park will go to the park. O sea, el sujeto puede hacer muchas cosas. El hombre que compra minutas en la esquina, que siempre anda rayado y anda gritando cosas. Ese es él. Siempre es él. ¿Verdad? Entonces es lo que tenemos que aprender a identificar. Que no siempre va a decir he, o she, o it. Porque si me refiero a un él, o a una ella, o a un eso, el verbo es cambiado, se conjuga, porque todas esas son terceras personas, en singular. Entonces, yo, la primera persona, o nosotros, 
Tú, con quien hablo, segunda persona, y de quien habla en singular, he, she, it, esa es la tercera persona. Muy bien, dicho. Ok. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very good. Any other question before we continue? Si hay preguntas, hay que hacerla ahorita. No va a estar diciendo en Nueva York cuando ande de paseo. Híjole, esto lo hubiera preguntado en la clase. <laughs> Questions. Ok, let's continue with the book. Then. Vamos a continuar con el libro. Ok, so, we have a other conversation here. And it says, I will be able to describe a colleague's routine at the workplace. Number one also has a question, well, two questions. Who interviews future employees in your company? Uh -huh. Who interviews future employees in your company? Potential employees. I'm sorry? Potential employees. Exactly. Who? Who interviews? Human resources. Human resources. Yeah, I, get, I believe for every company is that one. Human resources, they interview. Um, lo otro no lo vamos a preguntar, pero quiero que vean esta pregunta. Hemos dicho, hemos hablado en el presente simple. En el presente simple usamos do or does, ¿verdad? Pregunta aquí, ¿por qué no hay do o das? Se lo está preguntando a alguien. A una segunda persona. Hmm, pero cuando yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, do you go to the bar? Le pregunta a una segunda persona. Está preguntando a, a varias personas. A varias personas. Ah, pero si yo digo do they... También le pregunto a varias personas. Ahí dice que vos interviene cuando son actividades futuras. Y la pregunta dice básicamente quién entrevista a futuros empleados en tu compañía, ¿verdad? Ahora, vamos a aclarar, por eso me detuve en esta. Lleva doble question. Sí, ah. cuando hablamos de who, cuando hacemos la pregunta who, Estamos preguntando quién, quién hace esta actividad. Entonces, pero yo no sé si es un él, si es una ella, si son ellos, si somos nosotros. Porque lo que estoy preguntando es el sujeto. Como no hay sujeto en la, en la pregunta, cuando pregunto con who, no ocupo ni do ni does. Y siempre se pone el verbo en tercera persona. Who interviews. ¿Vea? Con ese lleva el verbo. ¿eh? Who interviews. O sea que si yo dijera who, who plays the guitar, por ejemplo. Who plays. Con ese. Y no lleva ni do, ni does. ¿Por qué? Porque no sé si es él, o es ella, o es eso, o somos nosotros, o son ellos. Es lo que estoy preguntando. Entonces esta es regla del presente siempre también, que no la habíamos visto, o no sé si ya la habían visto antes, pero la estamos retomando. Y recuerden siempre eso, que cuando se hace una pregunta con who, que significa quién, como yo no tengo un sujeto, en presente simple, solo en presente simple, yo no voy a utilizar auxiliar y voy a poner el verbo en tercera persona, siempre, all the time. Teacher, uh -huh. question teacher. Solamente con las de who o todas las que empiezan con W question. Todas. Solo, solo who. con who. Solo, solo who. who. Sí, porque las otras sí. Las where de... do you, where does she, where, pero ella sé mm. quién hace la, la acción. Esto ya le estoy preguntando, ¿dónde ella va? Entonces ya va el sujeto, es she. Pero aquí no tengo sujeto. Solo who. Okay. Todita okay. las otras, toditas siempre llevan el do o el das y va a llevar el sujeto, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you. Good. Preguntas o dudas con esto? Solo para tenerlo claro, teacher dijo, vamos a ocupar solo en el presente simple con who, 
eh, sin auxiliar y en tercera persona el verbo. Así es, that is correct. Gracias. Very good. good. Okay, now we are going to check the A question. Go ahead. Uh, si lo digo en pasado, o sea, como si, como que quien entrevistó en este caso. Ahí cambia. El ahí verbo sí. va normal. Sí, ahí como ahí el auxiliar es did, ¿verdad? Ahí se lo va a llevar. Ah, ok. Thank you. Good. Ok. Any other question before we continue? Ok. Let's do the activity. Let's do the conversation. As usual, I say and you repeat. Please repeat, everybody. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, Good morning Marcus. Marcus. How is your day going? How is your day going? Pretty good. Very, Very good. good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. I just, just finished finish interviewing interview some potential, potential employees. employees. Then I have to talk to the staff. Then, then I have, have to talk to, talk to, talk to, talk to, talk to the staff. staff. About some changes in the schedule. About some changes in the schedule. I see. I see. I, I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. I, I saw, saw some, some people, people in the reception, reception when, I when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. Yes, 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 I am some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. I need I to make some calls in some, call some, call some, call in some, some minutes. minutes. Anyway, how about you? Anyway, anyway how, how about, about, you? about you? Just as usual. Just, Just as usual. usual. Checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. Checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Pronunciation questions, my friends. Projects. Sorry? The pronunciation teacher inter interviewing. 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 Any other pronunciation question? Potential teacher. Potential. 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 Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Risk. Rescheduled. Rescheduled. La CH aquí es como K el sonido. Rescheduled. 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 Personal o personal? Personal. Con E. Personal. Inventory. I told inventory. Very good. Inventory. Eh, ¿Cuál era la otra? Marcus, I, I told. Touch. La última. La última. I thought. I thought. Okay. I thought. 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 No, no, no lleva CH al final. Es thought. Con T. Thought. Taut. Ah, sí. Taut. Any other question? Um, pronunciation? Okay. Now we're going to do the conversations. Let's see. Carlos Arias and Álvaro Ernesto. Okay. Okay, you are Celia entonces. Good morning, Marcos. 
How is your day going? Very good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to tell to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, we schedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I true. Ordering the inventory was Janet. Job. Okay, very good, perfect. Now we're gonna go with Salvador Bernal and Josman Serrano. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just find I I just finished interviewed some potential employees. Then I had to tell to the staff about some chunk in the schedule. Schedule. Chat. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some <sighs> often tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, home above you. Just the usual. Checking that the personality ready is ordering is and ordering the inventory. I turn ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, very good, perfect. Now Irving and Jennifer Torres. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Oh, pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Rolando and Blanca Ruth. Okay, I am Celia. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about the some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them. Tomorrow I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Checking, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. After ordering the inventory, I was, inventory was Janet's job. Okay, very good. Now let's listen to Eulise Torres and Jocelyn. Hello, Good morning, Jocelyn. Marcos. How is your day going? Hello, Jocelyn. Creo que no está. Karen Sánchez, entonces la voy a ayudar. Ok. Good morning, Marcos. 
How is your day going? Very good. I'm just finished interview interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change change in the schedule. Okay, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I project I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Thank you, Richard. Checking back the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Very good, perfect. Now, Carlos Arias and Rosa del Carmen. Comienzo yo? Yes, please. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the shop about some change in the schedule. I see I so calm people in the reception when I can. Yes, I will schedule some things tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Use the usual check-in that the personnel is ready and ordering in the inventory. I do ordering the inventory was Janet Job. Okay, very good. Now Carlos Dominguez and Brenda de Villatoro. Very good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to staff about some change in the schedule. Yes, I rest schedule some of the tomorrow. I need to make some calls and some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Use the usual checking that the personnel is ready and order the inventory. I too ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Very good. Now Edwin Antonio and Fatima. Great teacher. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How's your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some about some change in the I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes. Reception. Some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual checking that personnel is really is ready and of there in the inventory. I found out the the inventory was Janet job. Okay, very good, perfect, very nice. Um, pronunciation, recordemos, but interviewing potential 
Esta es changes. Changes. Schedule. Schedule. So. So. Came. Came. Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Lo demás pensaría que está bien. Let's check some vocabulary, okay? He says, good morning, Marcus. How is your day going? Pretty good. Uh, ¿Qué dice ahí en pretty good? Bastante bien. Bastante bien. Very good. I just finished interviewing. What is interviewing? Entrevista. Entrevistar. Entrevista. Some potential employees have to talk to the staff. What is staff? <laughs> Administrativo. Algo así, ¿verdad? Como el equipo de trabajo, algo para el estilo. Good. Uh, what is saw? Ver, pero en pasado, como vi. Exacto, el pasado de ver. So, yo vi, ¿verdad? Son people. ¿Y quién? ¿Qué es quién? Cuando vine o cuando, sí, cuando vine. Muy bien, el pasado de come, ¿verdad? So, came, cuando yo vine. Reschedule, what is to reschedule? Como reagendar. Muy bien, reagendar. Reprogramar. Reprogramar, very good. Uh, let's see, anyways. Como sea o... Como sea, very good. Eh, Len, then says checking that the owner is ready or the inventory. Además, creería yo que está claro. Do you have any questions here? No questions. Okay, so let's do the exercise here. What kind of job does Marcus have? Mm -hmm. What kind of job does Marcus have? Any opinions? He does the interview. Interviewing people, right? So maybe human resources or something like that. Number two, what are some of his responsibilities? What are some of Marcos activities? Revisar los inventarios. Uh, ordenar, ordenar y revisar. No, eso lo hace Celia. Ah, ok. Recepcionista, recepcionar. Um, well, in English it has to be interviewing some potential employees. What else? Make some calls. Make some calls, good, and? One more. Talk to the staff. Schedule. Talk to the staff. Very good, that is it. And question number three, how similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? No, I'm going to say. Okay, my friends, this was the class of tonight. Uh, do you have any questions before we finish? No questions. Good. No teacher. Let's check the attendance there. Okay. El uh, 101 de ahora es para Eulice Torres. A ver, Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martinez. Good. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. 
Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present teacher. Good. Fátima Noemí Omaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. Present. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Here I am. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Here, teacher. Good. Catherine Vira Velázquez Castro. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay, my friends, was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. See you tomorrow and rest very well. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Okay, hello, Ulisse. How are you? Hi, teacher. Nice. Ya fíjese que estás a one on one son como para ver si tiene preguntas, dudas o pues eh, cómo vamos, verdad. Entonces la primera pregunta de hecho es esa. ¿Cómo siente que va? Siente que va aprendiendo, que va agarrando ahí algo. Yes, es es interesting. Uh, esto ya lo había visto antes, pero es como una retro, uh, retroalimentación para mí. Esto perfecto. Okay, very good, perfect. Do you have any questions about the class or any questions in English? Uh, no, um, I I would like uh, one. Uh, uh, me gustaría tener una conversación en inglés. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um. Now, so far, so good. Okay. And uh, where do you live? I live in Tonacatepec. Ah, okay, very well. And do you work there in Tonacatepec? No, I work in, so in Soyapango City. Really? I heard yes. that Soyapango right now is difficult, right? So the traffic and the police, is, is that difficult? Yes, it's, it's traffic. It's traffic jam in, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the, in the evening. And, ¿Cómo se dice? En cualquier hora. At any time. Anywhere. Okay. At any time. Um, it's it's uh, a little complicated right now. Yeah, I heard that one in the news. So uh, the police, they stop you and check you every day? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yes. And what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I usually do um, uh, listen to music in English or, or watch the videos about English because I need uh, I need to improve my English. So always I study English or why watching the videos. Mm, very good, very interesting. And why are you learning English? Uh, I study English or I learn English because uh, three months ago or three years ago, um, I start, uh, I start 
to learn English because uh, I don't have, I don't, um, como se dice, I don't, no he aprendido, I, I, I haven't, I haven't, mm -hmm. I haven't uh, learned English because I don't have time. So it's, uh, it's a little complicated for me study English or watching or, or reading because uh, always I work uh, from 6 a.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Okay. So uh, the time is, is it's, it's a little. Yeah, I know. I know it's difficult, but you are doing a very good job here. So if you continue with the classes and if you continue practicing, you're going to learn. You have a very good pronunciation. You speak very nice. Uh, maybe what you need to do is to continue practicing. Sometimes, sometimes people, they just come to the class and that's it. And it's not enough. You need to practice in other ways, like you do. I mean, watching videos, thinking in English, do whatever it takes uh, for you to, to learn English so more than the class. The class is for you to practice, to ask questions. But if you continue doing these activities, yes, you're going to you're going to learn English. Yeah, thank you for advising. And uh, also in the future, uh, I work in the in the call center. Oh, very good. Yeah, very nice jobs there. Yeah, yeah. because uh, now I work uh, like a mechanical, mechanics, algo así. Mechanical, mechanical, yeah. Yeah, but in the future, I will work in the call center because and there I learn or I earn more money. Yeah, definitely. There are many other opportunities if you speak English, that is for sure. Yeah, because uh, that's why uh, I, I need to learn English. Very good, but you're doing a good job. So if you continue like that, of course you are going to achieve that goal. That's nice. Yeah, um, you can give me uh, advice about uh, some uh, some time, for example, um, past simple and uh, different verbs. Dice de que va, para cosas como esa, lo que tiene que hacer es aprendérselo, pues ni modo, ¿verdad? Eso hay que, que irlo metiendo. Yo lo que les recomiendo es que empiece a pensar en inglés. Es decir, usted está en su casa, se levanta y dice, voy a hacer un sanguchito con un cafecito. Todo eso hay que pensar en inglés. Si usted empieza a pensar en inglés, va a encontrar palabras que va a decir eso, no sé cómo se dice, lo busca. Se lo aprende y lo empieza a pensar. Habla con usted mismo. Todo lo va haciendo en inglés en su mente. Y va a dar el salto. ¿verdad? Eso es lo más importante. Si hace esa, esa es quizás la actividad más importante. Empezar a pensar todo en inglés. Todo en inglés. Entonces, y eh, cuando haya vacíos, palabras, verbos, eh, lo que sea. Lo busca, ve cómo se hace y ya lo empieza a utilizar. Ok. Eh, gracias por el, el por, por los consejos o por el consejo. Este eh, el pasado simple en algunos verbos no los no los no los manejo bien o no manejo una conversación tan bien en pasado por la falta de verbo, verdad? Porque creo que es muy importante la, el verbo y el uso del did y el, ese tiempo. Entonces la otra parte es lo que más lo siento más difícil que yo sé que no lo estamos viendo ahorita, pero lo comento con usted es el del pasado simple al presente perfecto. Eso es un poquito sí. cambiante. Lo que pasa es que tienen cierto parecido. Eh, mire, ya vamos a ver el presente simple, pero para que tenga una idea, el pasado simple, perdón. El pasado simple son actividades que ya se terminaron. El presente perfecto son actividades que han sucedido como experiencias, como cuando usted dice, yo he ido a Europa, ¿verdad?, ese es el presente perfecto o cuando usted ha iniciado una actividad y la sigue haciendo yo he estado viviendo aquí por tanto tiempo, ¿verdad? por ahí va el presente perfecto 
Y eh, los verbos, pues, ni modo, hay que aprendérselos, ¿verdad? Ahí sí, el auxiliar, si sí, cambian, cambian un par de cosas. Vamos a ver, de hecho, creo que esta semana o la otra nos toca ver el pasado simple y ahí podemos reforzar algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Hay una pregunta este, en la sección 1, en, en la pregunta 4, donde está la formación de las palabras. Esa me ha dado bastante duro con esa pregunta, pero no la he podido solucionar. Eh, ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? En la, cuál, ¿Cuál tarea? ¿Se acuerda cuál tarea? En la sección 1, en la sección 1. Eh, si no se recuerda cuál, creo que es la 2, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, sí, en la 2, en la tarea 2. Dice que esa la mandé yo al grupo, cómo estaban las respuestas. No sé cuál es la que, cuál de todas, la cuatro de esas, ¿verdad? La cuatro es la más, es la que no la he encontrado. Sí, esa es. Would be a good option to have happy. Ah, lo que pasa es que aquí le tenemos que cambiar. Hay un error en la plataforma. Eh, ahí dice staff, pero en vez de staff, usted tiene que ponerle employees y el punto, y ahí ah. se. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Eh, ¿Me puede contar algo de, algo de su experiencia como trabajando como, como profesor? ¿Cómo así? Digamos, su experiencia como, ¿dónde ha trabajado? ¿Qué ha hecho para convertirse en profesor? Pues, para serle muy honesto, yo doy clase porque me gusta, ¿verdad? Ya, ya, no, ya, soy ya. profesor. Yo este, eh, soy licenciado en medicina de empresas, saqué un máster en administración de recursos. Eh, actualmente yo trabajo para Google. Entonces, ah, eh, ya. y yo pues, siempre me gustó el inglés. Nunca fui a clases de inglés. Aprendí así solito con la música. Eh, okay. Haciendo actividades como lo que yo le digo, así, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, simplemente pensando en inglés, ¿verdad? De repente en mi primer trabajo me dijeron, ya hey, vos puedes hablar inglés, pero te andas esta presentación. Y ahí a la fuerza uno lo tuvo que aprender, ¿verdad? Ahora, uh, cuando ya di clases de inglés, yo di, empecé a dar clases de inglés, me dieron la oportunidad porque podía inglés, pero ahí uno se da cuenta de ciertos aspectos, como cuando uno lo está enseñando, uno tiene que saber ciertas cosas para enseñarlas bien, ¿verdad? Uh, 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 ahí tuvo que terminar de aprender, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yo pensé que había, ya había, como se, siempre he escuchado que los entrenadores o los que enseñan siempre pasan por un call center, por cualquier otra actividad, o dos años aquí, o tres años allá, y así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces creí que era su caso, pero ya veo que eh, su, su, su experiencia es muy diferente, ¿no? porque ha aprendido usted por su cuenta, y eso ha sido genial, la verdad. Sí, que sí, a mí siempre me gustó y siempre se me hizo muy fácil, muy fácil el inglés. De hecho, pues, no, me costó, era la materia que siempre no, no estudiaba, la entendía así de rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo pienso que, en primer lugar, yo pienso que todos aprendemos diferente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yo doy la clase, si usted se fija, hacemos diferentes actividades, a veces leemos, a veces los pongo a escribir, porque todos aprendemos diferente. Entonces, creo que una parte importante que cada quien tiene que aprender es eso. ¿Cómo yo aprendo? Si yo aprendo escribiendo, hay que ponerse a escribir. Si yo aprendo visual, uh -huh. hay que ir a internet y buscar cosas visuales, ¿verdad? Ahora hay muchas herramientas pues, que le enseñen a uno y, y uno tiene la ventaja, pues que puede aprender más rápido por eso. Pero uh -huh. igual hay que dedicarle tiempo. El tiempo creo que es lo más importante, independientemente de cómo usted aprenda o qué actividades haga. Eh, es lo más importante, porque incluso cuando yo le digo piensa en inglés, ¿verdad? Usted puede ir pensando en inglés, pero si de repente no tiene chance de buscar las palabras hasta que tenga chance, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, es hay que escribirles, hay que hacer varias cosas, pero cada quien tiene una experiencia diferente y eh, lo que yo le recomiendo es eso, que usted identifique cómo a usted se le hace más fácil aprender y explotar eso. Yeah. Eh, le preguntaba esto porque, porque esto es como una motivación para el alumno, para mí es una motivación saber cómo, cómo su, su forma de estudiar y eso nos empuja a decir, bueno, al menos a mí siempre me ha empujado el cómo aprendió el, mi teacher, el que me ha enseñado. Entonces es algo que siempre me llevo algo de cada parte de las personas porque siempre me ha ayudado eso de que ah, él lo logró de esta manera, pues es un, un empuje para mí también. Ok, very good, perfect. Uh -huh. Por eso es que le preguntaba al respecto. That's good, that's good. Ok, ok. <risa> Ok, entonces, perfecto. Ajá. Entonces sería, ahí terminarían los 10 minutos de, de conversación. Así es, no entonces, sé. sí, así estamos ahorita, igual en el futuro, si hay alguien que no esté, usted se quiere volver a quedar, se puede volver a quedar. 
Ok, perfecto. El, el que le toca no está. Perfecto. Ok, it was a pleasure. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.